uh, Israel knew that Iraq was a threat, the only Arab country that was economically and militarily any kind of counterbalance to themselves, so they wanted it destroyed. Same arguments they had used to encourage people to attack Iraq are now being uh, rehearsed and ready to be rolled out again in another farce uh, in the uh, run-up to a potential attack on Iran. Uh, well, of course, Israel did attack Iraq. Uh, some people appear to have forgotten that uh, Israel flew all the way to Iraq to destroy Iraq's uh, nuclear energy facilities at Oziraq long before Iraq had ever fired a single missile at Israel. And of course it's not that Israel shapes the Middle East, it's that Israel shapes the United States of America. And anyone who followed the run-up to the war on Iraq, right from the drawing up of the project for the new American century, could see that Israel's strongest supporters in America were the strongest supporters of an attack and the destruction of Arab power uh, in Iraq. Bleeding is the operative word here, isn't it? And it's very clear that uh, Israel, uh, they want the Arabs to be bleeding, and preferably bleeding, uh, at each other's hands. They want the Muslims to be bleeding, preferably at each other's hands. They want to divide the Sunnis and the Shiites as much as they can. They want the Arabs to be fighting each other as much as they can. So that their little settler state, as they call it, which was invented in the building behind me, where the British Empire, on behalf of one people, promised a second people, the land which belonged to a third people, and then went about creating it as facts on the ground, they want to continue to defend their little settler gangster state, which today stands in the opprobrium of the rest of the world, and their days are numbered. He can talk about the offensive in the United Nations, but the latest finding that Israel is indeed a gangster terrorist state which murders people on the high seas, which steals other countries' passports to murder Palestinian officials in Dubai. Its days are numbered. They might not be numbered in days or weeks or months or even years, but the idea that this settler state can forever keep the Arabs and the Muslims at each other's throat, keep one corrupt king or puppet president in his throne, on his chair, forever, is a, a very, very sad mistake. And big change is coming. And it's not the change, it's not the change that the gangsters in the settler state of Israel want. No justice, no peace. If there's no justice for the Palestinians, there will no, be no peace for the gangsters in the settler state. That's just a fact.